today I'm talking about MPLS, um, AVPN, um, SD-WAN, all those little fun little acronyms and whatnot. And I'm down here at San Clemente trying to uh, move stuff over to from one to another. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are talking about MPLS, AVPN, SD-WAN, all those fun, exciting things. All these are IP connection methods, uh, types, schemes, if you will. So MPLS is multi-packet, multi-protocol labeling system. MPLS, yeah, MPLS. And so it's an older technology that basically is every packet leaves a site, it has a label on it. And then it goes into AT&T's or your telco's uh, network system. And it looks at those labels and goes, oh, you belong here. Oh, you belong here. And so what we have is basically kind of like a, a hub and spoke system, if you will. We have our, our main studio in Santa Ana and we have different locations with this MPLS connections to these different sites. They all come back to our studio and from there they get internet and all that fun stuff. Now all these different sites can also talk to each other and that's one reason why I like this system. Now AVPN, almost the same thing except instead of every packet being slapped, having a label slapped on it, it is a VPN, a virtual private network, that is created inside of, in our case, AT&T's larger network. And so all the traffic is tunneled to our different sites, just as if you were at home and if you're working from home, you basically uh, would VPN into your office and are working that way. And it's a secure way of having that traffic uh, go between you. So that's basically what AVPN is, except it's inside of AT&T's world network, if you will. Now, the cost aspect of this, MPLS, I'm just gonna throw out a round number. Let's just say it's $1,000 a month, okay? Because it's an older technology, it takes more effort for them to maintain it. Uh, AVPN is $700 a month. So there is a definite cost reduction to moving into this new system. So that is part of what we're doing. And, but the problem is, is that all of the IP address scheming is different. So I need to move things over to uh, this new IP address scheme. And it's a scheme that we came up with a few years ago as opposed to when we did the MPLS mm, 10 years ago or so. So a lot of things have changed. A lot of uh, my knowledge and abilities with networking has improved, I hope. And so it's just trying to move the system forward for it to be more efficient, for it to be more secure and more robust because this AVPN link is going to be a part of an SD-WAN system, if you will. And, and an SD-WAN is basically where I have multiple different IP connections, AVPN, cable internet, DSL, point-to-point -point microwave, all these different things. And it basically will combine them or will select between them the best option for that connection. It's just, again, making our sites more reliable, more robust, more connectivity to them. So it's just a matter of improving our system, making it more robust, and because uh, the world is all IP now. That is everything. It's, it's IP this, IP that. Your phones are all IP now. Your cell phones are all IP now. It's, it's incredible to see how much IP has just exploded and it controls everything. Behind the camera are water tanks, which are controlled by IP. I've discovered a little bit of a problem here with me moving some of my stuff here at San Clemente over to the new AVPN system. And that problem 
is the circuit is actually down. Yeah. I'm looking up here on the router itself, the interface card for the T1, uh, it says alarm, which means there's a problem. And I'm looking at the card that's on the EMPO at the DMARC, uh, and there's no lights on the card at all. So that's not good. So I'm working on submitting a trouble ticket with AT&T so that way we can get this resolved because I kind of needed to have it. I need it to be working. So this, <clears throat> it's a mess, I know, but this is my EMPO or DMARC. Actually, it's both. Uh, EMPO, minimum point of entry, and that is the minimum point where the phone company will deliver your circuits and the DMARC is where it's all demarcated. I think I got that right. So this is kind of where everything shows up as far as circuits. Um, this is the old MPLS. These are some old circuits, some old program line circuits for those of you in the broadcast industry. And remember program line circuits. There's some transformers for that. Um, but this guy right here is the card cage for the AVPN. And there are no lights on it right now. That's not good. That means there's no power to it. Hmm. So I've just submitted the trouble ticket for AT&T. Um, well, that's the AVPN circuit, but why isn't my MPLS circuit still working? That hasn't been... That shouldn't have been. Uh-oh. Have a good day. Okay. All right, bye. All right. Well, uh, that was AT&T. Got an answer back on my MPLS circuit. Apparently, it got disconnected. Okay, maybe I wasn't quite clear enough with uh, our salesperson when I asked them to disconnect some of our circuits. All right, well, it would not be a problem if my AVPN circuit was working. My AVPN circuit is not working and it's handled by a different group inside AT&T. Waiting for them to get back to me on why my AVPN circuit's down. If you enjoyed this video and the little bit of uh, explanation about MPLS and AVPN and all that fun stuff, uh, give me a thumbs up. While you're here, watch some of the other videos. I really appreciate it uh, of you spending time watching the videos and being here and commenting down below. Even though it may not be a positive comment, I do appreciate it. So until next time, stay cool. It, today is radically different weather than it was yesterday. Yesterday was all gloomy and cloudy and kind of drizzly, which I kind of like, but today it's sunny. Yeah. Anyways, stay cool. We'll see you next time.